Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob with Diligent Dev and today we are going to be looking at the easiest way to implement a drag and drop image uploader just like the one you see on your screen using Vue.js, Drop Zone, and Firebase. So stay tuned and we're going to get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is create our Vue project. You're going to need Node.js installed and I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my code editor, but feel free to use whatever you'd like. I've opened up my terminal here. If you're on Windows, you'll open up your command prompt and I've seen it into my documents folder. You can put this project wherever you'd like on your computer. So to create a new view project, we're gonna say NPX view creates Firebase image upload. And I'm just gonna pick the default configuration. And this is gonna take a while to install. Um, so I'm gonna fast forward the video here a little bit and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it is finished running, and what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and open this in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open code, go to my Documents folder, and open our project that we just created. Now that we have it open, I'm going to open a new terminal. And what we're going to do is install some packages that are going to make this super easy. So down here at the bottom, we'll just say npm i dash dash save firebase view to dash drop zone uuid and hit enter and i will be back once these are finished uploading so now that we have our view project all set up we're going to need to create a firebase project to do that go to firebase.google.com and go ahead and sign up for an account and once you've signed up for an account Go to your console, and then we're going to click on Add Projects. For this one, we're just going to name it Firebase Image Uploader, and hit Continue. Hit Continue again. We're going to go ahead and select an account. We'll just select the default account for Firebase, and we'll create the project. Now, this is going to take a second to set up, and once it's done, I'll be right back. So the Firebase Image Uploader project is all set and ready to go. I'm just going to click Continue. And now that we're in here, um, we're going to go to storage and we're going to click get started. Now this is going to set up some rules. We're going to change these, but for now, just click next. We're going to just pick us central and it's going to create our default bucket. Now that our bucket is all set up, we're going to go to this rules tab. And in here, we're going to remove this right here. Now essentially what this is going to do is it took all the authentication rules off of this. So it's very important that you know that this bucket is not locked down at all and anyone can upload to this. We're just doing this for testing purposes, but once you have something in production, you're going to want to change the rules to lock them down a little bit more. So now that we've changed that, we'll just hit publish. And then we're going to head over to Project Overview. We're going to click on this little web icon. We're just going to say Firebase Image Uploader Web. Register the app. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this Firebase config right here. And we're going to copy it. And then we're going to head back to our Visual Studio project, go to source, main.js, and inside of here, we're just going to paste it in. And the next thing we need to do is go up to the top here and just say import Firebase from Firebase. And we'll save that. And Firebase will be set up in our project. And now that Firebase is all set up, we're going to head over to your app.view file. Inside of the template tags, we're going to get rid of everything inside of this div. We're going to get rid of this component. And we'll get rid of the styles. At the top of the script tag, we're going to import Firebase from Firebase. Import view to drop zone from view to drop zone. We're going to import the CSS for drop zone. 
so view two drop zone dist view to drop zone dot min dot css the last thing we're going to do is say let uuid equal require uuid Now what we need to do is import our component. So we'll say view drop zone and we'll set that to view to drop zone. We'll do a data property here and we'll return. Uh, the first thing will be images and we'll set that to an empty array and then we'll do drop zone options. And we're going to set that to an object. Now, Inside of this object, these are all the options for drop zone, and you have to have a URL. So we'll say URL, and this is just gonna be a dummy URL. And then we need a thumbnail width, and we'll set that to 250. And I'm missing a comma. We'll set thumbnail height equal to 250. Add remove links. We're going to set that to false. This is just a property that displays links in drop zone. We'll say accepted files. And we're going to set that to a string of comma delimited file extensions. And this will just limit what users are allowed to upload. And that should be it for drop zone options. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down below this data tag and we're going to say methods. And we're going to create a method called after an async method called after complete. And you'll see where we're going to use this and we're going to pass it the file that we uploaded. Now the first thing we're going to do is wrap everything in the try catch block. And if we have an error, we're just going to console log it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a unique image name for each upload. So we'll say const image name equals UUID dot V1. And that'll generate a unique identifier for us. And then we'll say var metadata equals an object. And we'll say content type equals image slash PNG. And this will just kind of tell Firebase what type of content we're uploading. Then we're going to go grab a reference to our storage bucket. So we'll say const storage ref. And we'll set this equal to firebase.storage.ref. And then we'll say const image ref equals storage ref dot child. And I'm going to do some string interpolation here. We're just going to say images slash image name dot PNG. And then what we'll do is we will say await image ref dot put and we're going to pass it the file that was passed in from drop zone and the metadata that we defined up above. And the last thing we'll do is say const download link download URL equal to await image ref dot get download URL. And what this will do is it'll give us a download URL that we can actually display. And the last thing we'll do is outside of this, 
or actually right here. We're going to say this dot refs dot img drop zone dot remove file and the file that we passed in. And you'll see where I'm about to use this up above. We're going to give import the component and give it a ref of img drop zone. So up at the top here, let's go ahead and create our HTML template that we'll be using. So inside of here, we'll say view dash drop zone. Go ahead and close that tag. We'll give it the ref we talked about earlier. So we'll say img drop zone. We'll give it our options. We'll set that equal to drop zone options. And then when something has completed uploading, we're going to call at v drop zone dash complete and call the function below. Now the next thing we're going to do is create a div that's going to display our images. So we'll say div. We'll give it a VF. We'll say if images dot length is greater than zero, then we'll display this. And inside of here, we'll do another div and we'll do a V4 in here. And we'll set that equal to image in images. And the reason we're getting a red squiggly line is because we have to give it a key. So we'll say key equals image dot SRC. And then we'll just display an image. And we'll set the source equal to image. And we have to give it a binding prop here. Image dot SRC. Now one thing I forgot to do was after this has completed uploading, when we get this download link, we just say this dot images dot push. We'll push an object into it and set a property inside of that object to SRC and download URL. So that way when we do our V4 up here, we can grab that property inside of our loop. Now the images are going to show up really crazy on the page unless we define some styling. So at the bottom here, uh, inside of the style tags, I'm just going to create one called img div. We'll give it a display of flex and a margin of 25 pixels. And then we'll say dot img. Actually, we'll just go right on the tag since we're only going to have one type of image. And we'll say each image image can only have a max width of 250 pixels and a margin of 15 pixels. And what we're going to do is we're going to save all of that. Come down here to our console. Say npm run serve and see if we get any errors. Okay, so we didn't get any errors. So I'm going to go ahead and launch localhost. And you'll see we have our drop zone all set up and ready to go. So what we need to do now is find an image. So if you click on it, it'll open it up. We can upload this image. You'll see it uploads. Then it disappears, and then we have a nice looking thumbnail underneath. So we'll try to find another image in here somewhere. And you'll see that we have all of our images coming in. They're uploading correctly, or at least they're displaying correctly on the page. And if we go to our Firebase project, we'll see that now inside of our storage, we have an images folder, we ha and we have two images in there. So that's it. That's our super easy image upload. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, 
go ahead and leave them below the video. And until next time, happy coding.